So does film Eminence. I have a lot of thoughts about it. There was things I liked and I was super intrigued about. And then there were some things I thought could have been better. But overall, this was a exciting film that I'm sure a lot of people are going to have a lot of commentary with afterwards. So let's jump into my review of it right now. What's up, folks, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the film Eminence, which is going to be on demand and releasing digitally February 4th. Now, this film had a name attached to it that I was like, oh. And then I thought the title of the film was catchy. I thought the graphics, you know, was was, was catchy. Um, and then, you know, with it being a horror thriller, you know, I love this genre. A lot of reasons for me to wanted to check this out and i gotta say that uh for my instant feeling and reaction after this film i was not mad at it at all um it was very thought provoking um totally made me do some research kind of made me feel conflicted at times since there's like a battle between science and religion going on here but overall i was i was kind of blown away i guess i had sort of maybe maybe mediocre uh expectations and came out on the other end like that was that was pretty solid um i think it's an amazing rental i think you know if you're looking for something to watch on a good friday night uh you know with names you may be familiar with and with um you know the synopsis isn't i'm not going to say the most like strongly intriguing to the point that you just cannot wait to see what happens but i think it has enough for you to get curious to say like all right, let's 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 see what it got. And I think by the end of it, you will be much like myself. Like, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> a lot of twists and turns going on there. And I got to say, in, this, in a certain part of this film, things do get super interesting. So there's that. But um, let's, 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 let's go to the make of this film really quick. So you have, uh, the, by the director, Carrie Balesa, um, who he uh, not only uh, is the director, the writer... Um, and producer alongside of his wife Summer, who Summer is a uh, one of the actors on this film as well. So you know you have a uh, you have a uh, husband and wife combo pretty much taking the head on this film, which um, both of them being fairly new into uh, filmmaking. And I thought this was a very very solid out the gate job. I thought uh, one uh, going with Carrie. I thought he positioned his cast really good because there's a very different mixing pot of experience here and typically that can sometimes cause confliction on, upon what the viewers see on screen and what i mean by that like when you have somebody like michael beach who i think is phenomenal so diverse in all of the roles he's taken uh so experienced and i think you put him in a room nine times out of ten he's going to be the best actor in that room so you have to kind of think like well, if you put the best actor in the room uh, alongside of somebody on the screen who may not be that experienced, the other person may not exist. And I thought that um, everybody was positioned really well in order to have opportunities to shine, to really get their characters' um, uh, exposure and building these characters. That way, um, the audience have time to kind of connect with these characters because that's really part of the other journey is here is really dictating what side you're going to be on with science or with religion here um so you got to kind of feel a little bit convincing uh, convinced about some of these characters backstory and where their current mindset is and obviously just like i said there's some flipping going on here some flip-flopping going on so you got people that's also switching sides much like yourself so you'll see but i you know i thought i thought that carrie did a really good job in making sure that um as the director making sure that people were positioned in um good spots and then when you look at the cast michael beach is just phenomenal i can't say enough about him every scene that he ends he's in he shines um, you just automatically are investing into his character. Um, and also with Michael Beach being attached to this, you know, I'm always really curious when I see really uh, prominent actors take independent roles. 
And I think a lot of the times it's because they're passion projects or they just want to truly show how diverse of an actor they are. But Michael has been taking diverse roles up and down the board. So I'm like, okay, well, this is clearly a passion project for him, which means, you know, he's going to give a little bit of extra oomph in it. And that's just all I need. But beyond it being an independent film, don't get it wrong. This film does not feel like an independent film in terms of production. I, I thought the cinematography was good. I thought the visuals were good. Um, and, 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 and I was impressed even at some of the things that I did not like, which, which I'll talk about in a second, the production was super good. I was, I was definitely blown away because you absolutely can get some projects where you're just like, Oh, this looks, feels and smells like a low budget film. And that's not what you get with this one here. That's also another part of the convincing part of this film is because he's so passionate and so strong in his delivery that you're like, I'm believing him no matter what he says, you know? Um, and he plays this character, Jonah, who is on the side of religion, uh, who operates a boat. And Jonah has his own sort of, like, spiritual journey that he's going on himself. Like, he's looking for some things. He's looking for, um, he's looking for, I almost want to say, a second calling. He had something happen to him a while ago, and now he's looking to kind of make this, op this, this phenomenal happen again. This is where he meets this, um this crew of radio astronomers who there's this anomaly happening and all the, and it, and it leads them into the Bermuda triangle where they have all their scientific reasons as to why these things are happening. Where Jonah on the other hand was like, Oh no, Oh no, it's much more than that. This is a divine calling and presence happening here. And you know, now you got this whole thing with folks like, uh, no, you can't explain that with that. And this is that. And I know what I've seen in my own eyes and so on. So that's, you know, that's what you got going on here. But, um, overall, I, I again, I thought the film, it paced well, it was entertaining, um, very thought provoking. Now, a couple of things I did not, I'm not gonna say I didn't like, but I thought could have been better. I thought the score could have been better, especially with the horror that's in this film. Um, with adding the score or heightening it just a little bit, I thought it really could have got the, the hairs raised up on your arms and really elevated some of these scenes if it was just a little bit more heightened, you know, give, give us some dramatics with the score could have really, really did um, some of these scenes better because sometimes it was kind of quiet and the, the fact that they were on a boat in the middle of the ocean at night, you know, that backdrop is just kind of flat. You know, you don't have too much going on, which brings me to my other point is that when it wasn't like that, and ain't sure they explain why the boat was operating the way it was, because you definitely will be like myself asking, like, wait, a boat wouldn't do that. But they, you know, they explained it. But the moments where they did show the skies and the aerials and, and space, I thought the visuals were fantastic. And for me, I wish they would have had that backdrop a lot more, if, if I can be honest, all the time, because it was done really well. So that when it was just a flat back, it's just kind of like, I don't know, you know? So, um... But ultimately, uh, the film was intriguing. And like I said, uh, you know, when you get to a certain part of this film, things get really crazy. And um, I can't say it because it's totally a spoiler. But when another character then gets introduced, things go upside down and things get really good. Solid performance by this character, uh, by this actor with this character. Um, and it really takes things to the next level. And, you know, you got to pay attention because as much as this is a horror film, it is a thriller, and there's a lot of clues throughout the entirety of the film. There are things being sprinkled in early that you will see come back towards the end of the film, and, like, there's nothing that's in this film that shouldn't be in there for whatever reason. So be very, you know, be be, be on alert for things that are being said, questions being asked, um, sort of testimonies being, uh, uh, being, being talked about, all sorts of different things, because they all play a part at some part in this film and that's what i liked about because everything sort of connects so like that's what makes a really good thriller because yourself you're also trying to figure it all together and then at the same time like i said you're trying to decide are you with team religion or are you with team science in terms of explaining the anomaly that is happening right now and there's a lot going on here so folks i you know again i think it's an amazing rental um i think that you know and what I mean by rental, I mean, like, I don't think there's any bit of, you know, there shouldn't be any bit of reservation as to why you can't sort out a couple of, um, uh, not a, even a couple of hours, but an hour and a half of, of, of your night to pop in this film and see what it's about. I think that, 
Um, it is well worth your time and I think you will enjoy it. And you're probably going to jump in these comments and have your thoughts with me about some of the things that happen and whether they explain how they explain and so on. And again, you know, the character Jonah, the, the name Jonah itself, look it up because you may get some other additional clues about some of the things that happen. And they do mention it in the film, but I, I had to go back and check myself to kind of see how, um, shall I say, the text correlated with the story and there was definitely a lot there so that's that but yeah check it out folks jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about this film and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon